Chapter 2, 1962, The Beginnings In the first week of March, I did not know what was happening. Every five minutes, the Lord urged me to kneel down to make reparation. I asked to share in His work to the greatest possible degree. He said, Ask for abundant graces. The more you ask, the more you will receive. Many ask to share in my work, but when I ask for a sacrifice, they grow frightened. Jesus kept saying that I had to live for him every moment, without interruption. He often complained about consecrated souls. They live more for the world than for my redemptive work. He said, do not spare yourself. No, no limit. Do not separate yourself from my work for even one moment. The Lord asked me to contact a religious sister. When I spoke about the state of my soul and my great darkness, she said, This might be auto-suggestion. This greatly upset me, and I thought that all of my experiences were an illusion. That night, I said, Lord, what is going on with me? Where have I allowed myself to be led? What is true? Only someone who has suffered this temptation can understand. The next day at Holy Communion, I recovered my peace. Fast for priests. Jesus said, I ask something great from you. Every Thursday and Friday, fast on bread and water and offer this fast for 12 special priests, Hungarian priests who will be entrusted with this devotion. On both days, spend four hours in my divine presence to make reparation. On Fridays from noon to three, adore my sacred body and precious blood. Keep the Friday fast until the hour my body was lowered from the cross. Accepting this sacrifice will gain extraordinary graces. Commit yourself to this fast for 12 weeks, so the 12 priests will be ready to carry out my plans. You will know who should take my petition to these 12 priests. They too must make reparation and be immersed in my sacred passion. These 12 priests are the best in the country. Future Trials Jesus also spoke about future trials. You will suffer a great spiritual dryness. Different temptations will torment you. Have total confidence. This is the key to my heart. He added, In temptations, flee to our mother. She will defend you from the evil one. Since I was so forceful, Jesus said, you are intense, forceful, and irritable. You must be transformed according to my heart. Do not be upset that you can only make small sacrifices. Jesus the Teacher On April 8, Jesus said, I want you entirely for myself. Nothing, not even a hair, must separate you and I. I responded, Lord, I am only a beginner. He reminded me about my schooling. A few months ago, you wanted to register in high school. I opposed this because I wanted you in my school. Now you rejoice and are a happy student. I am the teacher dedicated to you from morning until night. I answered, Lord, the problem is that I understand very little. That is true, he replied. Later, Jesus said, draw close to my mother. I replied, she is the one who invited me to a door. I was confused until I heard her voice. He said, that first meeting, July 19, 61, was the great step. My mother entrusted you to me in a special way. After that, you flew to me like an arrow and never looked back at earth. Since your birth, I have awaited you. I said, Lord, never let go of me. I did not let go of you. You let go of me. Jesus lamented, when you were a widow, you asked your children for help. How sad when they excused themselves. How many children I have, if only they would help for one hour. 
the divine choice. After receiving these great graces, I exclaimed, God, what have you done with me? Why do I no longer value earth? I cannot understand. Why me? Are there not pure souls who are worthy of you? Jesus said, From among the worst sinners, I choose souls for my work. If they accept, I fill them with great graces. Use all your strength to bring sinners to me. Give no thought to anything else. By your desires, you have entered entirely into my heart. To prepare me, Jesus said, A great battle awaits you, but you will conquer in the sign of the cross. When you make the cross, think of the three divine persons. Make the sign of the cross five times while thinking of my five wounds. Always look at my eyes bathed in blood. Tell everyone all that I tell you. Do not worry about how to make the cause prevail. Be a good Carmelite. Do not worry about how to make the cause prevail. Be a good Carmelite. Be humble and refrain your tongue, not saying unneeded words. Do not worry that you can only give me little things. Ordering the weak. One day the Lord said, On Monday, pray for the holy souls, offering a strict fast and prayer during the night. Each time you fast, you will free a priest's soul from purgatory. Whoever practices this fast will themselves be freed within eight days after their death. On Tuesday, pray for the family and make spiritual communions for each member. My mother will take each under her protection, offer night prayer for them, invoke St. Joseph every day, he will help you. On Wednesday, pray for priestly vocations. Many young men have these desires, but they do not meet anyone to help them to gain the goal. Your night vigil will gain abundant graces. On Thursday, make reparation to the Blessed Sacrament. Offer the strict fast and night prayer for the twelve priests. On Friday, immerse yourself in my sacred passion. During the day, meditate on the way of the cross. From noon to three, adore my sacred wounds. Note, this can be done even at work or school. On Saturday, venerate my mother in a special way. Seek the grace of a holy death for priests in their final agony. Priests' souls in heaven will intercede for you. Concerning Sunday, the Redeemer gave no specific instructions. First message from Our Lady. On April 13th, I asked the Blessed Virgin to engrave his wounds into my heart. My tears flowed. She herself was sobbing. There is so much sin in this country, Hungary. Help me, let us save this country. I will place a beam of light in your hands. This is the flame of love of my heart. Add your love to the flame of love and pass it to others. I asked, Mother, why do you not work miracles like you did at Fatima so people will believe in you? She replied, The more miracles I work, the fewer who believe. I asked for the first Saturdays and no one paid attention. King Saint Stephen consecrated your country to me. Saint Stephen was the first king of Hungary in 1000 AD. I promised him that I would gather his intercession and add all of the Hungarian saints into my heart. I place this new instrument in your hands, accept it with great understanding because I gaze on Hungary with great sorrow. The twelve priests will be the most worthy to fulfill my requests. Take this flame. You are the first to whom I entrust it. It is the flame of love of my heart. First light your own heart, and then pass it on to others. She sobbed so much I could hardly hear her. In the name of Hungary, I promised her everything to relieve her sorrow.